Maria Sakri versus Arena Camellia Bagu is the second quarter final for the Madrid Open for the ladies for 2023. And both players have been very impressive to get to the quarterfinal stage. Bagu entered the tournament as the number 31 seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Mukova, who had just taken Contabate out in the first round. And after a close second set, Bagu would get through in straights 6 4 7 5. In the third round, she'd take on the 33rd seed, Rogers, who was a replacement for Ons Jabur, who was injured. And this was no problem for Bagu, getting through in straight sets 7 5 6 2. In the fourth round, she take on the 14 seed Samsonova, who had just destroyed Ostapenko in the previous round. And after a slow start, she was forced to come back, getting through in straight sets eventually, 6-4, 6-4, to get to the quarterfinals. Zachary entered the tournament as the number nine seed, and we're gonna buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on the qualifier Ruse. This was no problem for Zachary, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the third round, she take on the wild card Masarova, who had just taken out Vekic in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Zachary would have to fight back to win, 3-6, 6-3, 6-3 to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'd take on Bedosa, the number 26 seed, who had just demolished Coco Goff in the previous round. But Zachary looked amazing, serving extremely well, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4, to make it to her first quarterfinal in Madrid. These two have played three times before, with Zachary leading the head-to-head 2-1, with their previous match being last year in St. Petersburg in the semifinals, Zachary having to fight back in a three-set victory. This will be the first time they've ever played on a clay court, which might give Bagu a bit of an edge. If Bagu's going to win this one, she needs to limit the errors. She's looking very confident this week, hasn't dropped a set for the entire week up until this stage, and those wins over Samson over especially were very, very impressive. So let's see if she can keep that confidence going and try and limit those errors and not give Zachary anything. If Zachary's going to win this one, she needs to serve well, like she did against Bedosa. She played very strong against Bedosa, and she also dictated the rallies as well. She needs to continue doing that, but she also needs to keep it out of her head that she is the favorite, and also the moment, the fact that she might be able to make a semi-final, she will be the very big favorite in this one. So keep that out of her head and not to get distracted. This is going to be an interesting matchup because, again, we didn't expect Bagu to be in this stage. And Zachary hasn't had a great season, especially being in that section with players like Bedosa and Goff. And with Jabir not being here, it's a little bit random. But I'm going to go with Zachary to make the semifinals. She doesn't lose the quarterfinals of these tournaments very often. She's made a lot of semifinals. I think she might make one again in Madrid. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make it to the semifinal.